Once you've modified your primer pair to your satisfaction, you may want to extract the PCR product for cloning, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So as you can see, we're currently in the primer design view, and I've already made a few modifications to each of my primers. And in the top section here, you can see that all of the features related to my primer pair are displayed, and this one here is representing the PCR product. So all I need to do from this point is select Priming, Create Insert by PCR, and what SeqBuilder will do is extract the sequence of the PCR product and simulate its amplification with TAC polymerase, including the addition of the three prime A overhangs to each end. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Create Insert by PCR, and here's my new cloning project that's been created, and you can see that my new TAC amplified insert is already displayed for me within the Inserts folder. So now I can proceed with creating my virtual clones by selecting Cloning, TA Cloning Advisor. And notice that the insert we just created is already selected for me in the Insert field. So all I need to do is select my linearized T vector from the list provided, and then click on Clone. So as you can see, SeekBuilder has created and displayed the clones for me, both the forward and reverse orientation. Let's take a look at the forward clone. And you can see that here in the sequence view, the primer pair, the PCR product, and the reading frame are all displayed as features. And that goes for all of the, the views within SeekBuilder. If you look at the feature list view, you can see them here all grouped together. And you can also see them in any of the graphical views like the linear map. 